Now, ocean temperatures in the Great Barrier Reef hit their highest level in 400 years over the past decade. This is according to researchers who warned that the reef might not survive if planetary warming is not stopped. The Great Barrier Reef is the world's largest coral reef ecosystem and it is also one, one which has the most vibrant biodiversity. Now, let's look at where it all began. Between 2016 and 2024, the reef suffered mass coral bleaching. Now that is when water temperatures get too hot and coral expel the algae that provide them with color, food, and sometimes they also die. Earlier this year, aerial surveys of over 300 reefs off Australia's northeast coast found bleaching in shallow water areas spanning two-thirds of the reef. Researchers from Melbourne University and other universities in Australia were able to compare recent ocean temperatures to historical ones by using coral skeleton samples from the Coral Sea. They reconstructed the sea surface temperature data from 1618 to 1995. And then they couple that with sea surface temperatures data from 1900 to 2024. What they observed was largely stable temperatures before 1900 and steady warming from January to March from the year 1960 to 2024. And during five years of coral bleaching in the past decade, that is 2016, 2017, 2020, 2022 and 2024, temperatures in January and March were significantly higher than anything dating back to 1618. The only other year nearly as warm as mass bleaching years of the past decade was 2004. You know, these corals have lived for 400 years and this is the warmest temperatures they're experiencing. And gosh, I just feel like these are these are the redwoods of of the, the reef. So we need to be um, really um, respectful of, of those as as creatures as well. Across the world, reefs are key to seafood production and tourism. Scientists have long said additional loss of coral is likely to be a casualty of future warming as the world approaches the 1.5 degrees Celsius threshold. I think coral reefs are, as an ecosystem, the first ecosystem on the planet to be existentially threatened um, uh, by climate change. Um, I think we have to be hopeful that the world is not going to stand by and let that happen. Um, but it is fractions of a second to midnight. Um, you know, we're getting very close to those thresholds uh, where reefs will have a really dire future. Even if global warming is kept under the Paris Agreement's goal, which scientists say Earth is almost guaranteed to cross 70% to 90% of corals across the globe can be threatened. And as a result, future coral reefs would likely have less diversity in coral species. Unfortunately, we won't know um, when the resilience of the reef um, uh, expires until it's too late. At the moment, we can see the reef is resilient. It's bounced back from previous coral uh, bleaching events. But at some point, that elastic band will snap. 